everyone. Welcome back to my channel. It is Amanda. Um, this isn't our normal setup for Sunday uh, videos, but here we are. Um, down by my little makeup corner. <laughs> this is where I do my makeup and all that stuff. It's nothing fancy. Anyways, um, I wasn't going to put out a video today because I honestly didn't really have anything to show. Or I did have some things to show, but I... I don't know, it, it just felt very sporadic. It didn't feel like I had a lot of cohesion um, to what I wanted to put out there. But I guess that's kind of what vlogs are. They're not necessarily like um, a flow to them because it's just you recording your life and whatever happens in the week is what ends up showing. Um, but I was having a hard time and honestly, I was beginning to get frustrated because I felt like there was nothing to really be showing you guys as far as my life is concerned. Um, I don't want to be someone that just kind of shows, I don't know, I guess things that really are boring. <laughs> um, I don't know. So I just felt like there wasn't really anything to show you. And I, I just didn't have anything to put out for today, but, um, something interesting did happen. Um, I kind of had in a way a quarter life crisis, I would say, like, I know that sounds very dramatic, but. Um, I was very frustrated with where I felt like my life was. I was frustrated that I was still living at home. I was frustrated that I wasn't, you know, I'm almost 25 and I'm not like, I don't have my own place. I don't have a career that I'm like in that she's like booming and I'm like super like charged up and, you know, uh, just living life and, you know, having all these friends and doing all these cool things on the weekend and all that kind of stuff. Um, I felt very frustrated by that. Um, I, and actually funny enough, it, it, it marks three years, um, since I graduated from, from college, from SCAD. And, you know, I think there was a part of me that just felt like, man, three years. And it felt like to me, like, man, like I still feel like I'm in the same, um, place, um, a little bit. And I was just very frustrated and I was kind of like, God, what's going on? I'm doing the things that I felt like God was putting on my heart to do, which was to stay at home and be a full-time artist. But it seems like, man, like, but doing that doesn't seem to be very rewarding, you know, and, and all this. So I was having a, a time of just frustration. Um, and I was venting, just kind of sharing my, my emotions with my boyfriend. And he got me together <laughs> in the best way. You know, he just shared with me, Amanda, you actually have a very sweet setup compared to many of us, you know, because he and I went to the same university. Um, he was like, compared to many of us who graduated, um, we have loans and you don't. And that is true. Um, I graduated without any student debt because I had military. So military paid off everything. So I had nothing to pay, um, thanks to my dad's GI bill. Um, but you know, my boyfriend, um, he was telling me that, you know, I have s student loans like up to here. He was talking about, you know, even other people who graduate, like, they don't get to just focus on what they love to do or what they want to do because they have to pay rent and have a job to pay their rent and buy them food and have their lights turn on and their water running. And me living at home where my parents aren't charging me rent, where my parents aren't making me leave, they're giving me what he said was like, Amanda, they're giving you time. Like your mom is giving you time to figure things out and she's not pushing you out the door anytime soon. Um, you get to, you have a car that you can use that you don't have to pay for. You live in a house that's always, you know, that always has food in it that's fully furnished. Um, nothing in there you have to pay for. And you get to focus on your art all day. And all God is telling you to do is, you know, focus on your, your art and your craft and you know, trust in him in this time to, you know, take care of you. Um, just him kind of laying out like all those facts, um, those actuals about my life as far as like, I don't have any debt to worry about. I don't have any rent to pay. Um, I don't have any expenses. I get to solely focus on my craft. And for him, he said, I think the one thing that you are missing is just a sense of direction, um, a plan, if you will. And 
I think that's also very true. I know for me, I think one of the things I realized, and I told him this yesterday, is it's not school anymore. When you're in school, you have a plan that's laid out for you. Um, you have a plan that's laid out to you as far as like when you get to the next level. You do this test, um, you move on to taking another, another test, you move on to doing this project, you graduate into the next level. And then you graduate into the next um, higher learning, you know, from elementary, middle school, high school, and then for some college. Um, there's always a stepping stone. There's always a laid out plan for you so that you know you're succeeding and you're doing well. And there's an obvious, um, you obviously know by not doing these things that you don't move forward. But once you graduate and you leave school, it's not the same thing. You don't just get to see as directly, are you graduating in life? Are you moving forward or are you in the same place? There's not as um, many easily identifiable markers. I hope I use those words correctly. There's not many identifiable markers to let you know that you are progressing in life. And I telling him that, I think that was one of the things that I realized um, was what kind of maybe got me frustrated or I realized was also part of the, the problem. I have been so conditioned to view life through that scope, that way of moving forward in life, that now that I'm out of it, it's like, oh my gosh, I have to make these decisions on my own. I have to come up with a plan and I have to execute it. No one can write me out a syllabus and tell me what to do. You know, it's like, I have to do it now. Um, and I think that's part of the shock once you get out of school. Um, especially when you're out for a while. I don't think it hits you quite yet because at the beginning you're super excited just to be done with school. But I think you eventually realize like, wait a minute, something changed. Uh, a shift just happened. Um, but sometimes when things happen and circumstances change, our mindset and mentality hasn't quite caught up yet. And so we're frustrated because we're still trying to work. Ooh, mm. we're frustrated because we're still trying to work in a new system with old habits. You know what I'm saying? But now that we're in this new system of, of learning or, or of life, you can't use those same um, habits and steps. Uh, you also have to shift. You also have to change. And I also told my boyfriend, I think part of it was maybe slight disappointment because you have sort of an idea of what you think your life is gonna look like by a certain point. And me almost being 25, like I had, I don't know if I exactly planned out what I thought my life was going to look like, but you know, I think, you know, I was like, if you had asked me in high school, I'm like, what do you think you'll be like by 25? I probably would have said, you know, I would hope to be maybe married, um, or, uh, definitely at the very least, like having my own apartment, having a job that I really love, being surrounded by friends, um, you know, whatever it may be, like, um, you know, having maybe a good source of income, all that kind of stuff. When you get to that place and it's like, it's not what you have envisioned, um, it can be frustrating and you can be very easily discouraged. But from having that conversation with my boyfriend last night, I just realized, you know, Amanda, um, you need to, you need to make a shift and you need to grow up. You need to look at actually the sweet deal you have, the advantage you have. Also, one of the things that I really feel strongly that God has been putting on my heart personal, personally is really to take authority over me creating um, and being able to make decisions because I think with the other dreams and stuff that I have in my heart, um, if I can't make decisions when there's no one telling me what to do um, and when there's no pressure from anyone, um, I'm going to crumble, I think, when there are clients or when there are people who want to work with me or people who work for me. Um, and I haven't developed that sense of discipline or uh, making decisions now. Um, and I think this is just God, truly, this is his blessing, like giving me an opportunity to really focus and do well and also develop my character and, you know, to, to adjust. And I think he's been very patient and given me time to really learn that and figure that out. Like, I think the first year after I graduated, I spent a lot of time going back to Savannah, which is 
fine because that's how I met my boyfriend. Um, and then I think the second year I was kind of getting frustrated. I think I felt slightly um, burnt out maybe from creating, but also really frustrated because I feel like I didn't know where my life was going and I felt like everyone else was progressing. I think the third year has been me kind of, honestly, a lot of just revelation, a lot of healing, a lot of um, spending time with God and reworking the, the things that I haven't been doing with the best attitude, you know. And now I just feel like I'm at a point where I just acknowledge like I have to shift gears and I have to grow up and I have to um, look at where I am with from the perspective of God's perspective and what I think that he's doing um, and not doing it with such a uh, sense of defeat like oh I guess I'll just be here it's like no I'm here because I mean there's a purpose for this like in my time it's like I've, I've learned so much about God I've learned so much about myself it allowed me time to heal from um, a lot of body issues that I've dealt with and I could talk about that in another video but um, it took gave me time to work on a lot of emotional things um, and even just time like just to realize Amanda you just you have to grow and you're in a different place now and now you have to do things differently and also to not feel ashamed that yeah you live at home but you know there's nothing wrong with that there's no rush to get bills <laughs> you know there's um, be grateful that your parents are giving you an opportunity to stay home and work and they're not press pressuring you to do anything different and um, I'm at peace with God with what I'm doing so it's like what happens if I really tapped into that and stopped complaining you know and I feel like since January of this year God's been showing me more and more to help me grow and also to help free me from things that really have been holding me back and not allowing me to progress in life um, and honestly even with if circumstances around me don't change if I change, the circumstances look different, and thus they can change. But I think God's just been really just opening my eyes to a lot of things to help me um, move forward. And I'm very grateful for that. And I'm ready to grow up in the sense of, like, you know, accepting what has happened and moving forward and moving forward with excellence and style and class and boldness <laughs> and beauty and all that good stuff um and so what i actually did i made like a plan kind of going back to what i said earlier my boyfriend was like you need to make like a plan um and i did actually have a plan earlier this not this year well yeah earlier this year but like in march I made, see right here, it says game plan. I made a plan for what I wanted to do with my art. And it's funny, as soon as I made this game plan, I remember like two days later, this thought came to my mind that, you know, the enemy is going to try to stop you from moving forward and don't let him. And I feel like since writing that down, there have been things that have come up and it's not outside things as much as been internal because you know, the enemy, like, he will get you where he can get you, where he knows you're weak, or where he knows he can tempt you to stumble. And I think for me, it's been really about, for me, what has stopped me is being really self-defeating and really harsh and criticizing myself and my self-worth. And that has really stopped me um, and beat me down. And I used to struggle with depression for three years. Um, and so I think that is a very sensitive part of of me um but at the same time I have grown so much from um as far as like being able to not being able to bounce out of that like I haven't been depressed since that time um but it's very easy for me to like fall into negative emotions but I've been able to like really work on that and get better at that um so that I'm not in a deep place, you know, and I'm not there for days. Um, there are some days where it's like 
I've been able to get out of a dark place so quickly. And there are days where sometimes, it, you know, you just feel pain. And it's not um, weird. Some days it's really something that's going on you're frustrated with. Um, and not all that do I attribute to um, having a history of depression. Some days you just feel like down. But I've learned how to really uh, work through those. So I've learned a lot of good habits, basically, is what I'm trying to say that's helped me along the way to deal with emotions. But I think emotions are one of the things that are so beautiful and are also the things that the enemy likes to use to manipulate so that it destroys you instead of being a beneficial thing for you and something that is nourishing and helpful to others and is just like um something great and healthy and can turn into something negative that is used as a dagger to your own soul so anyways um kind of a rant there or a ramble but i made a plan and i kind of fell off it for a little bit um not not quite i just had other projects i worked on that kind of like took me aside but it's funny, I marked down only three things for my timeline because I made a timeline for what I wanted to accomplish. And I actually got down two of the things I had marked, so I was very proud. I was like, wow. And I'm still actually on time for things, so I'm not like so far off. So for me, it's just like, okay, Amanda, get back to this. And so I reread it and I marked some things down, like made some new plans, made some new adjustments to it. Um, and things I want to do and also adding them to this side. So just readjusting some things and reworking what I had. Um, but remembering like, okay, coming back to this. Like this is what I made and this is what I want to stick to. And one of the things, remember I talked about that I felt like God was calling me to do better at making decisions. And I heard this in a sermon yesterday, uh, Colossians 3, 2, where it says, um, was it make your mind and keep it? But something like, what is it? Make your mind and keep it set? Is that what it is? I'm looking to see if like, oh, my Bible's right here. Let me see. Oh, my foot's starting to fall asleep. Colossians 3.12. I think it's something like make your mind and keep it set. Philippians. Where are we at? Where are we at? Uh, set your mind and keep focus. So. Set your mind and keep it set is one way of saying it, or set your mind and keep focused habitually on the things above, um, not on things that are on the earth, which have only temporary value. But basically, it's about keeping your focus. Um, and once you made a decision to keep it there, now it's okay if like something else happens and things have to change, but like don't be, uh, I guess it's like don't be easily swayed by like just things happening whether it's your emotions or just how you feel that day and like I don't feel like doing this like consistency is how a lot of things get built and get done um but it's also just good to have a goal and, and being focused on that and again if things come up and change being sensitive to if you hear God leading you a different way um but don't let emotions be the thing that sways you. And I think that's something really for me that hit that I have to really focus on and hear um, for myself. And then I also made a calendar plan. So uh, this is what I did today, just kind of writing out um, when I want to do like my art, when I want to do videos. That's still something I'm working on because I have another video project that I want to do. So um, I'm working that in. I also have, I'm taking classes starting this week. So I'm very, very excited. And I'll talk about that more actually in next week's vlog. And yeah, so that's what I have here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And also gym days. Um, days when I'm at the gym. Days of editing videos, stuff like that. Anyways, guys, I hope this was, you know, an okay video. I just kind of popped in. Um, I just wanted to share with you guys what I had on my heart and you know, I just, I, I wasn't going to even shoot today, but something in me was just like, I gave my word to shoot every Sunday because, um, I, I just did. I wanted to have something to be consistent and people knew I was watching. And even though there's only 54 people on here and not even all 54 people watch, like I think in my last video, I got three views. So that means only like three people are watching and I don't mean that in a negative way. Um, I'm saying that to say I was so tempted to not make a video because it's like no one's really watching so it really won't matter but I at the end of the day don't I was like I have to stand though before God and do good even if no one's watching um, and I just couldn't sit comfortably knowing that like I made a commitment and I'm not following through with it 
it just bugged me in my spirit. And I was like, I can't. I have to make a video. Even if it's just five minutes of me telling you guys, hey, sorry, there's not a video, but I hope you all are doing well and all that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, I didn't really expect to talk this long. I've kind of been up here rambling. But yeah, I hope you guys have a great week. Um, there will be a video next Sunday for sure because, again, I have something really exciting. I have a couple of exciting things happening this week. So those will be fun to vlog and share with you guys. Um, I don't know if I'm going to continue every Sunday being a vlog, um, but we will see. So I might have to change my banner because my banner says good vibes every Sunday. So that might have to change, but I'm also growing and figuring out what this channel is going to be. Um, I know I, I want it to be something that uplifts and encourages people because that's just my heart. But as for now, have a great week and I look forward to seeing you next Sunday.